I want to L pad something, I want to R pad something. Why does it make my code so slow? L pad and R pad. Some issues with L pad and R pad when it came to Peel SQL. We have recently upgraded and now our Peel SQL compilation times seem a lot higher. We tracked it down to routines that use LPAD or RPAD. Is there a problem with them? That seems a fairly niche kind of concept. You know, you've upgraded to a new version, you're using Peel SQL, LPAD and RPAD, and it's a compilation issue, not a runtime issue. So I fully concede I was a little bit dubious when I saw this. So I asked for some test cases and they were happy to provide them. And so I'll happily provide them to you as well. Let's do a demo of the LPAD and RPAD. Once again, this is a very easy, simple demo that you can run on your own databases as well. I'm creating a procedure here called my procedure. It's got a single variable of size varchar2 2000, and I'm going to assign it with LPAD to 2000. I don't see a problem. That's you know, virtually instantaneous. What, what's the drama? Let's do one with varchar2 8000. Assign LPAD 8000 as big as the varchar can go. And same thing, uh, a touch slower. So let's now continue on. This is as big as you can have a varchar2 in Peel SQL. varchar2 32767, and I'm going to assign LPAD once again, 32767. Be aware, reminder here, we're actually just creating these procedures. We're not running them, we're just creating them. And I compile that, and things start to get a bit more interesting now. That took 1.9 seconds, and we wouldn't normally expect that for a one line, or what, two line, Peel SQL program unit. Normally they compile very, very quickly. Let's now do one with four. Now it's the same variable, there's only one variable here, but we're doing four LPADs, you know, and once again, just compiling. We set that going. And all of a sudden I have to have some humble pie here because I think our customer reporting this to me was actually correct. There's something going on here. We went out from 1.94 seconds, let's round that up to two seconds, to almost eight seconds. So it looks like each LPAD assignment there, once again, this is just compilation, is taking about two seconds to actually compile. That's not so good. In fact, I wrote this little utility, uh, which effectively is dynamically writing, it's a Peel SQL program that dynamically writes Peel SQL to actually measure the effect of the size of the variable. So in this case, I'm repeating those previous demos, but I'm simply doing, I'll start it going, I'm doing a varchar2 2000, 4000, 6000, 8000, et cetera, et cetera, to see if there's some sort of pattern, to see if it is actually linear. So this is now gonna chug away. And we get some relatively good feedback that yes, if we're using a varchar2 2000, it's 0.2 of a second. 4K, 0.3 of a second, 6K, 0.6, 12, 18. It's roughly linear up to 32K, which is back to our 1.85, almost two seconds. There's definitely an issue here that we need to sort of, you know, worry about. Let's now do a little bit of an alteration here. I'm gonna go back in my session now and set Peel SQL optimized level equals zero. And don't get me wrong, I'll explain why I did this. I didn't just pull this out of thin air and think, oh, that'll be the solution. Um, we had to do some research internally to come up with this. I'll set optimized level to zero and run that same thing, which is building a 2K, 4K, 6K, whatever. And you can see all of a sudden the performance is now, as you'd expect to compile a very small Peel SQL unit. It's very, very fast. This person said, oh, we upgraded and we had this issue. Uh, it actually is not related to upgrade. Um, it's not related to you know changing versions. I think this, this issue has been present almost back, I think, to 12.2. Um, it's just something, it's, it's a fairly niche scenario. The reason this person experienced it on an upgrade, they were actually going from 12, I think from 18 to 19, is they didn't, it wasn't the fact that they upgraded the database, is at the same time, they did a character set migration. And they did the right thing. They did what we recommend to everyone when they get the chance. And that is, you know, modern databases require modern character sets. And modern character sets are basically UTF-8. So you need to have a multi-byte character set in order to really, you know, support global world you know the, the reality is you know even if you only work in an english-speaking country you're going to have people who migrate to those countries that have you know special characters in their names etc so you really you want to be looking at having multi-byte character sets 
It also makes things like, you know, let's face it, the future of data seems to be JSON. JSON, XML, et cetera, are all generally passed around in UTF-8. Therefore, if you store them in something that's not a UTF-8 database, database, you might have character set conversion costs, et cetera, et cetera. This customer did the right thing. They said, we're going to bite the bullet. We're going to migrate to a multi-byte UTF-8 character set. So we're done. And it actually only exists in multi-byte character sets. This issue exists. What happens is during compilation, when the PL SQL engine is looking at large variables and assignments such as LPAD, RPAD, et cetera, what it does is it's looking at options to optimize the storage of multi-byte characters. And that's why it spends a lot of time. And it just turns out that the algorithm used to actually interrogate um, the code is inefficient. And we're looking at fixing that. So it's actually the PL SQL engine is looking to optimize the way it's going to store these variables. And in doing so, the effort is going through to, to optimize that is actually inefficient. And that's what we're seeing there. So if you're using a multi-byte character set, that's when you're going to see this. If you're using LPAD and RPAD, and you're going to see it at compilation time because we're doing this optimization work to actually try and improve the storage. Therefore, the workaround is simply to set optimize level to zero. And that, you know, we simply bypass that optimization and the compile times go back to normal. Before you say, well, don't we lose out then the optimization at runtime? I'd be very surprised if you see any kind of difference at all. If you do, please shout out. Uh, we have logged a bug for this. So this will be fixed in an upcoming RU. It's just one of those things that's been around for a long, long time. We just never really seem to notice it because one would imagine uh, what tends to happen is, is people have very large PL SQL program units often when they write them. You know, we recommend not to, but people have, you know, tens of pages of PL SQL program units. They take a little bit of time to compile anyway, so they probably never noticed the cost of these LPADs, RPADs.